Hi, I'm Rick Barbosa, Distribution Account Manager for Logitech, and today we'll be joined by Josh Blaylock, Senior Solution Architect, supporting Microsoft for Logitech, Jimmy Vaughn, Partner Technical Specialist with Microsoft, and Paul Barnes, Solution Sales Executive for Ingram Micro. On our previous episodes, we talked about what a Teams room is and also how the Teams room flow works. As our Logitech Microsoft Alliance only is getting stronger with distributor partnerships like Ingram Micro, we're excited to spend some time with you today going over a setup and deployment of one of our Microsoft certified products. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Jimmy to introduce you to the product. Thanks, Rick. Um, Logitech and Microsoft has a, have a strong partnership. We've got a whole bunch of different devices. And Josh, I think what we're going to show them today is how quickly some of these devices can actually go in. Now, while we're going to take a look at one specific device, many of these devices go in the exact same way. So Josh, why don't we go ahead and uh, take a look at exactly what we have on video here? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to be looking at the Logitech Rally Bar. And specifically, we're going to be looking at it in appliance mode. So running Android, our collab OS, uh, and we're going to look at uh, not just the device and setting it up, which is a very quick, easy, simple setup, but the capability that Microsoft provides for provisioning Android specific devices from the Teams admin center. Uh, so right here, we are looking at the Rally Bar Mini. It has the, the smaller meetup inspired camera with that AI viewfinder. As we come around to the back, we take the cable retention panel off the back and we plug in power and then an HDMI cable for the display. Obviously, this can get a lot more complex in setup. We can have HDMI in, two HDMI displays. We can plug in Ethernet if we want a wired connection and we recommend that. Uh, but for this, we have two cables. Two cables is all that we need to get this set up and running. So we got it plugged in. We power it on and the device starts going through its boot up cycle. And, and Josh, this is an, a Microsoft Teams room on Android system, but it's important to also note the same exact device works as a USB peripheral on the Microsoft uh, Teams rooms on Windows. So you're setting up and we're going through exactly how to set it up in the Android mode right now. Yeah, exactly. And and right now we see the Collab OS window behind us. We have a remote for setting it up. We've got the Teams button on there. If we had a tap, we could use a tap, but we're using the remote or touchscreen as an option too. We go through all the regional settings, all the accepting of the EULA, uh, connecting our network. Again, recommend the wired network. We're gonna use Wi-Fi with the HCP, but I always recommend wired for best quality, etc. cetera. Uh, gotta put in a password for the network here especially in your conference rooms, Josh. You want to make yes. sure that all those systems are wired um, for best practices. I know that we're doing it here differently, but 100%, this is the same kind of setup that we're going to go through. Yeah, exactly. And we, we skipped over the NTP, all that kind of stuff, skipped over the optional sync. It detected we need a new update, so we fast forwarded through a bit of this Collab OS update, but this makes sure that the Android OS is running at the latest with the latest feature set for Teams rooms. We take a coffee break because we're instructed to on the screen. Handy little coffee mug here as I was going through the setup. Coffee but, mug uh, not included though, Josh. It's not included. Mug. It's not part of our setup, so. Good call out, good call out. <laughs> Classy mug regarding the last. Absolutely. Uh, so once it's done with the update, it goes through its reboot process again with power back up, and then it's time to select uh, the service provider. So we snag that Microsoft Teams button there and it applies the Microsoft Teams settings. It tells us to apply the little Teams sticker if this is a Teams deployment. And when I've done that, we're skipping the sync portal. Here's all of our network info in case we need it for anything. Tells you what to do if you wanna use BYOD mode, we're skipping that. We're skipping, skipping camera presets, but obviously you can set them up here too. See, we try to help you ahead of time, but you can breeze through a lot. And that's it, the installation is complete. Now we just need to sign in. We're brought right to the team sign-in screen. We're not going to sign in on the device because we're using remote deployment through the Teams Admin Center. So we go into the settings, click device settings, got to put in the password. We recommend you change that as a regular security precaution. And uh, we go over to about to grab the MAC address. And the MAC address is what we will need in the Admin Center to, uh, to actually pre-provision the device. There it is. 
if you're an administrator, you're going to need this MAC address. So if you're in the installer and then somebody needs it to actually set up the remote provisioning, make sure you get them that MAC address so that when they go into the administrative side, they have it uh, uh, for their portal. You can bulk import them as well, but we made sure that the uh, password or the, the license was correct for the room. And then we went into the Teams admin center side of things, clicked on provision devices in the Teams rooms on Android section. And it brings us to the spot to add the MAC addresses in. We just saw the MAC address. And since we're doing a manual one instead of a bulk upload, we type the address in there. We'll give it a friendly little location. In this, excuse me, in this case, it's gonna be my office. And we hit apply. Goes through and this bit. is where Teams Admin Center will have all of your devices inside of the Teams Admin Center side. So it's provisioning, yeah. it's setting the device up, it's making sure that it's, everything's there. And you can see that there's a verification code on the screen. So once yeah. you've got that verification code, you're on your way. You take that back over the Rally Bar Mini, you go to the provision device section under the settings icon, and you pop in that verification code. Very simple. You hit next. So the on-site admin has no username and password. They just have a code. They're entering the code and that's it. The device is now enrolled. We can see in the admin center, boom, it's ready to go. It's not signed in, but the admin with the credentials can now enter the username and password. So the admin does so. They grab all the information there and they sign it in remotely. You are probably familiar with this process. Yes, and this is <laughs> as easy as remote deployment gets because you're not handing out username and passwords. You're not handing out the details that many organizations fear in the hands of different people. This is a remote provisioning where this device is now signed in to Teams and you are 100% up and ready to roll inside of your conference room. So on the remote side, all you see is the administrator signing you in. You just sit back, let it do its thing. It rolls through a couple screens and boom. You are signed in to your MTR on Android with the correct account. Back in the admin center, we go over to the device. We look at the details. We see it's now signed in. And yep, that's the MAC address that we just enrolled. We are good to go. Now you have a full conference room set up. Remember how easy this was. Cabling, uh, display connection, and then remote provisioning your account details. And you can now use your Logitech system to have a Microsoft Teams meeting, Josh. Now, one of the things that everybody asks us when, uh, when, they, when we talk about this is, how do we get these systems? So Paul, why don't you tell us how Ingram Micro um, actually adds the, their value into this and how quickly customers can actually start deploying these? Yeah, absolutely. So you guys did an excellent job of showing this product off, made it really simple to deploy and roll out. And the nice part about this is with stock constraints everywhere, we have these in stock ready to ship. Um, you know, and even for the people that are a little concerned, you guys showed how simple this is to install. Ingram Micro as a partner can literally help you guys deploy them, implement them and train you on them, even if you need that extra step. So there's no reason not to buy this product and get it in your offices. And to be fair, it is simple, but we did oversimplify it for the video. There are little things here and there that it is important to know and pay attention to, to save yourself headache and pain. Having a trusted partner to walk you through all those things, plan well in advance, very important piece of the process. Not only that, we got, you also got to worry about the licensing. And your micro can help you with the licensing. There's two licenses you can assign to it. We can certainly walk you through that, which one would work better for your organization when you deploy these. Well, this is fantastic. Um, in a time where we, it's not so much what you know, but where to go to get what you know need to know, uh, this will be a perfect video. And I think I could probably do this setup myself and I don't have a technical background. So really much appreciate uh, you guys going through all that. I thought it was fantastic. And so uh, with that, I'd like to thank you guys for spending these few minutes with us. And we hope that you uh, like and subscribe our series. And on our next video uh, vlog, we're going to be talking about the setup and deployment of the roommate. So we hope that you uh, tune in for that. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.